de Mafelis, yung uh, OFW po na napatay mula sa Kuwait. Uh, nakita natin yung nagiging emosyonal ay ang uh, mga kapatid po, uh, kawa-anak ni Joanna de Mafelis. Kadarating lamang ng mga ilang minuto pa lang ang nakalipas nang dumating po ang uh, labi na yan ni uh, Joanna de Mafelis, lula ng Gulf Air Flight GF-154. Nakikita nyo rin po sa live na kuha na yan, ang ilang opisyal, kasama si Foreign Affairs Secretary Alan Peter Cayetano, nandyan din si OWA Administrator Kakdak at Deputy Administrator Arnel Ignacio at ilan pang mga opisyal ng POEA. Kani-kanina lamang po nang dumating ang uh, eroplano lulan nga ang uh, labi ni Joanna de Mafelis. Nandiyan na rin ang ilang mga kaanak ni Joanna 
At ang paunang uh, pasabi po ay uh, bukas rin dadalin ang labi ni Joanna sa kanilang bayan sa Iloilo. Yan nga po ay uh, nagdadasal ang uh, pamilya de Mafelis. Kanina lamang nang lumapag ang uh, Gulf Air 6 uh, GF-154 lab, laman nga po yung mga labi ni Joanna de Mafelis. Ilan sa mga opisyal na nakikita natin dyan si Foreign Affairs Secretary um, Alan Peter Cayetano, gayon din si OWA Administrator Kakdak. Uh, una na pong sinabi ng uh, mismong ambassador sa Kuwait na sa paunang investigasyon ay nakita raw po na tila binugbog at uh, Bali-bali ang uh, may parte ng katawan ni Joanna nang makita yung kanyang labi sa loob ng isang freezer sa isang uh, inabando ng apartment sa Kuwait 2016 pa raw nang umalis ang uh, mga amo ni Joanna de Mafilis na isang uh, Lebanese at Syrian national. Yang nakikita niyo po ay mga live na kuha mula sa Naiya kung saan nandiyan ang mga kaanak ni De Mafelis. Uh, nakaabang sila dyan kanina. Ka uh, kanina pa ho bago lumapag yung eroplano lulan nga nitong mga labi ni Joanna De Mafelis. Um, nitong mga nakaraang linggo lang po natagpuan yung labi ni De Mafelis sa loob ng isang freezer sa Kuwait. Pero yung pamilya niya po, January or February 2017 pa, nang mai-report na nawawala nga raw ho itong si Joanna at hindi pa raw nila nakakausap muli. Ang paunang pasabi po ay uh, mula dyan sa Naiya bukas ay nakatakdang dalhin naman sa Iloilo sa kanyang uh, uh, hometown ang labi nga po ni Joanna de Mafelis. Manatiling nakaantabay sa CNN Philippines para sa iba pang detalye kaugnay nito. Susunod na ang Sports Desk. Ako si Ruth Cabal. Maganda umaga. Well, ang uh, direktiba ng ating uh, Pangulo ay gawin ng lahat ng uh, DOLE, ng DFA at ng lahat ng uh, ahensya, ang ating embahada, ang lahat na magagawa para sa proteksyon ng ating uh, mga OFWs abroad. Kami lubusan nakikiramay sa pamilya ni uh, Joanna. Uh, kanina po, inexpress namin sa kanya not only our condolences, our sympathies, pero sabi namin kung uh, makakahanap ng konti, uh, konting uh, comfort sa kanilang puso na magiging rallying point ang kanilang kapatid. Because I spoke to the Kuwaiti ambassador yesterday and uh, they said outrage ng gobyerno nila. Gagawin nila lahat to bring the uh, uh, accused uh, to, to justice. But uh, yung kanyang death is very tragic but will also be a rallying point no, for all of the government agencies uh, to be more aggressive uh, abroad uh, in helping our OFWs be protected. And also dito, so makikita mo magkakasama kami ngayon dahil dati yung one team, one country, one team approach, parang sa abroad lang. Uh, but now you can ask the gentlemen and the ladies uh, around us uh, from the USEC, ASEC, secretary level, down to the director's level, uh, down to the people on the ground. Um, we're putting systems to coordinate. No? And kanina nga, Arnel was uh, reminding us na social media ang, uh, ang primary ngayon na communication at saka yung urgency. So the government really has to upgrade and to have a system of communication with our 10 million Filipinos abroad. Dahil masyadong maraming cases of abuse na 
madali sanang malaman kung yung communication system uh, uh, maganda no so i'll i'll stop there but uh, you know we're here today for the family um, and the president has instructed us all no so to to give our all out support no Tech, you mentioned yung intensifying coordination between mga agencies involved in protect in the protection of OFW pero the family ang complaint nga nila is uh, hindi sila naasikaso ano na pong nangyari sa investigation so, well, our own, on our um si secretary Bello diba said already that uh, uh, no nonsense yung kanilang investigation they will get to the bottom of it no but we're getting more information. Yesterday, I also met with uh, 26 nung returnees from uh, uh, Kuwait, and in touch naman kami ni uh, Hans, no, ang administrator ng uh, uh, OWA, now si Yusek uh, Paras. And um, there are so many cases eh, na, you, you know, halimbawa, if you look at Saudi, more than a, a hundred, more than a million Filipinos there, but isang daan lang ang personnel natin, combined na yon, labor, tourism, uh, yung uh, defense attache tapos yung uh, uh, DFA people no? so we really need the use of uh, technology but ang sabi namin there's always no, acu no excuse to be discourteous or hindi maasikaso yung isa pero to sir na may na-recall na sorry na um, ang makakasagot kasi sa OI welfare officer was, has been recalled ordered recalled by the, by the secretary of labor what's her name? Her name is Sarah Concepcion. She's, she has been recalled. Well, uh, she, uh, there was no uh, reply or response uh, to the request for assistance. Will there uh, be more? There will be, uh, there will be more uh, recall of uh, our uh, officials there as we uh, go along with our investigation. No? Yes, the, the no. investigation is not yet over. Uh, in fact, when uh, well, uh, well, of Concepcion comes home, there will be uh, a deeper look into this. Sir, may update po ba kayo dun sa employer? Kasi di ba meeting sila? Um, there, there are some things that we cannot say in public kasi baka maano yung investigation. No? But, uh, you know, the Kuwaiti government assured us that they are outraged and that they will... Uh, um, exert all efforts not to bring the ano to justice you know na release naman siguro sa inyo yung initial uh, information di ba na uh, Lebanese yung uh, lalaki yung babae Syrian and uh, it's been some time na since they fled uh, wait no having said that um, yung BACC nga is here and they're they're watching over the the case and they're also familiar with the Interpol system no so we'll give you updates as much as uh, possible but as i said no nakatutok tayo sa kaso na to but this should be a rallying point for many other uh, cases now to be fair to the uh, personnel of the DFA of the DOLE and the uh, uh, OWA POEA um, ang sabi kasi ni Sec Bello he announced this to the our ambassadors when we met them lahat ng ambassadors to ng Middle East ng Europe at ng Africa na due process will come later so kung may complaints uh, i-recall ka agad uh, we cannot do this exactly the same sa DFA because um, alam nyo naman may ibang system for the acceptance of our ambassadors abroad. No? But we are discussing systems na pag nag-complain yung ating kababayan o yung mga kamag-anak na uh, pa, how to make sure. Uh, kasi secondary yung may paparusahan ka na eh, di ba? Yung may paparusahan ka na or isosuspend, i-recall, -re ibig sabihin the damage has been done. So we're also working hard together, itong mga kasama ko sa harap ninyo, uh, yung iba wala dito, paano ayusin yung sistema? So whether private message ka sa Facebook or pinost o nag-send ng text, di ba? Uh, an international hotline system. Actually, it's tragic kasi it came too late because the, the funds na dinagdag ng Pangulo uh, is, is, uh, is here this year. No? And the nationwide, uh, the worldwide uh, call center na gusto natin and hotlines na gusto natin i-establish um, ma-establish pa in a few months no so but as i said we, we have to use this strategy to to wake up no ourselves and wake up uh, some of the host governments uh, wake up some of the officials even the you know recruiters the employers uh, association diba dahil if you siguro we we'll invite you to the shelters 
pag makausap nyo ang, ang uh, OFWs, iba talaga yung theory, iba talaga yung nasa papel, iba yung nararanasan nilang uh, ano. Well, uh, we're going through a very uh, rocky period. Uh, we have had very, very good relations with them. Um, in general, they love Filipinos. Um, if you remember when Iraq invaded the Kuwait, uh, Filipinos did not leave the families that they were serving. Uh, despite the, the offer for uh, repatriation, despite the efforts of the governments then, despite the international coalition, um, sabi nung maraming uh, Filipina uh, domestic, pamilya din namin sila, so hindi namin iiwanan. No? And of course, we supported the Kuwait government. But that was 30 years ago. So, if you look at the numbers, they're substantial kasi. Uh, totoo din naman siya sabi ng Kuwait na it's not a majority. It's somewhere between 3 to 5 percent ang may problema sa Kuwait. But remember, people are not statistics eh. Each and every life uh, matters. So, we're going through a rocky period sa ating um, uh, relationship. But I think there's going to be some firm commitments and some resolutions. And uh, this is having a cascading effect then sa ibang mga host countries. Uh, we have ordered our people, whether sa DOLE or sa DFA, to engage yung ibang host governments. And hindi man na sa, sa publiko, hindi man na sa media yung cases of abuse or cases of maltreatment or complaints ng OFWs natin doon. We're, we're working double time to communicate it to the host countries. I mean. Yes. May mga specific kasi tayong hinihingi and uh, Dolly is taking the lead sa negotiations there. Uh, but in our discussions naman with Kuwait, uh, ang input namin is some practical solutions. No? For example, ang isang request, just to give you an example, no? sa sabi nung mga, kasi ang nasa Kuwait ngayon is a sponsorship program. Eh. Correct me Hans, di ba, if I'm not. So, meaning yung sponsor is responsible uh, for yung hinar nila. So that's their reason to hold on to the passport. So minsan ayaw umalis or tumakas yung employee. So ang isang practical solution doon, yung embassy ang humawak ng passport. So but all of this is under negotiation, di ba? Tapos yung uh, persistent um, uh, reports na underpaid o yung nasa kontrata sinasubstitute. So we will also study, we will also discuss kung pwede all payments will be sa ATM para may official record kung magkano pumapasok. Diba? Hindi na he said, she said na sasabihin ng employee uh, 90 lang binigay sa akin, 120 ang usapan namin. Sasabihin ng employer, hindi, binigay ko. Hindi ano. So, na, napakahirap. Eh, no? uh, so, do, those are two examples no, of practical measures. And uh, Dole is, is being very... Uh, sec uh, Bebot is being very uh, aggressive no, in what they will ask from Kuwait. And then we're doing it quietly with other host countries because syempre then the, the, the relationship is important but we have to communicate to them that core interest natin yung people natin, yung OFWs. No? How is Kuwait responding to those they're, they're responding positively but we want firm commitments and we want uh, fast action. Uh, as you know, they've declared the amnesty and yesterday we requested an extension of three months para kasi ang uh, estimate natin Hans is about 10,000 ang gusto umuwi, no? So far around 2,000 ang naglista. No? And then there are penalties. So uh, basta contract workers always been very aggressive. Dati they wait for the recruiters to pay but under the new administration and under Hans they, they pay first then sa kanila hahabulin kung sino. Then pan undocumented mabilis ang pasahan namin. Uh, the 1 billion peso ATN fund is now uh, binago na rin namin guidelines para mabilis tong ma-release. No? So even the assistance, ayaw lang namin i-announce ngayon yung kung magkano, but it's substantial. And uh, of course, I'd like to thank the OWA board uh, for being very progressive no, in their view. Kasi dati parang ang, not, not naman recently lang, but nung nag-start out ang OWA, POEA, ang DFA, parang ano na paano makatipid eh. Ngayon talaga kung paano makatulong eh. So, sabi ng presidente, nandiyan ang pera, gastos inyo, basta use it wisely. Sir, clarification, gusto ko na maintindihan ng mabilis. Pagka nagreklamo yung isang OFW, 
Uh, ano yung proseso? Tapos gano'ng katagal bago ma-action? For example, kung ito taong nagreklama yung family, June pa of 2016, inabot ng November na namatay na si Joanna. Paano yung proseso? Oh, let, let me be very, very clear. No? Uh, abroad, one country, one team. So whether nag-complain yan sa labor attache, whether nag-complain yan sa staff ng uh, DOLE, kung may OWA doon, kung may POEA doon, whether mag-complain yan sa ATN officer or sa ambassador, ang utos ng ating Pangulo, agad-agad asikasuhin. Okay? Having said that, depende sa bansa, may limitations. So there's never an excuse not to act upon it right away. Now, how we act upon it, minsan kasi may mga uh, restrictions sa mga bansa. For example, not all countries have Facebook. Diba? Uh, not all employers allow their employees to have cell phone. So, minsan, pag nag-cry for help, pero wala kaming address, di ba, or hindi namin alam na saan, hinahanap pa, nire-rescue, no? Having said that, order nga ng Pangulo is to upgrade and to use technology. There's no, ex I, by, by the end of the year, we'd like to have a full database of all Filipinos documented or undocumented, overstaying or legally staying uh, in whatever country, uh, any country in Europe, in Northern America, in the Middle East, no? Uh, so that we can better serve. Having said that, remember, marami sa kanila mobile, lalo sa Middle East. Pag nawala ng trabaho, instead of umuwi at humanap ng bago, di ba, lilipat. And the sad thing is, minsan, kapwa Pilipino nagbebenta sa kapwa Pilipino kasi dun sa mga areas na may ban, uh, malaki talaga ang sweldo o kaya uh, yung recruitment uh, fee na bawal naman. No? So the, the concern of trafficking, is high priority din sa amin lahat, sa DOLE at saka sa DFA. Okay. Um, we have to have some... The, the Kuwait government really wants us, no? So, first sa USEC level, para dun sa political consultations na na-delay, and then uh, sa level ko, and then uh, ni Sec Bello, then later on sa level ni Presidente, they want us to be there so that daw, the complete picture, para makita daw yung um, yung mga OFWs that are treated very well and how they are loved in their country. Ang balik naman natin sa kanila, even if 90%, 95%, 98% are loved, paano yung 1-2% na na-abuse? So we need firm commitments and we need that reforms, no? whether it's on our side or their side. So na nandun pa sa level ng usapan na yon before the President goes. The President doesn't want to go there just for PR or para makita or magkabate. The the president wants to go there na mission accomplished, di ba? Na, na, na ayos yung problema ng, ng OFWs natin there. So, wala pang one, Well, nung una, gusto immediate. But etong uh, case ni Joanna became nga rallying point dahil nga, um, you know, person cannot just go missing uh, for months and then ganyan mangyayari, di ba? Thank you. Thank you, sir.